ourselves uh, locked in at July the 6th. We are taking out the trash before we head off to Kroger to pick up uh, some more ground beef and some more of that paint drink. Uh, but uh, yeah, had a, a couple early morning sessions. Uh, it's, what is it right now? Just turned 7. So couple a uh, couple sessions throughout the day that was awesome now now we're off and oh hello chase listen to some loud music but yeah we're uh, we're up and at them uh with our i didn't get a weigh in like right as i woke up this morning but uh with the clothes on we're like 162.3 uh, this morning so that's not half bad for the day after a new training cycle so uh new new exercises and things like that so i'm a little extra sore and the legs are sore but one thing uh to note guys that when you start uh, if you're on fat loss diet no matter what and you start a new training program where you find yourself sore uh, or just pushed harder uh, you can and will retain a little more water weight as those muscles are damaged and repairing themselves uh, so that's something to just take note of. hey if the scale is not moving and, and but you've been working out hard and doing everything right and actually tracking uh, the scale may not be the best measure and you know it's not always the best measure it it you're not gonna see a perfect trend uh, you know within the week of oh, I'm still moving down now over the course of time hopefully uh, that becomes the case that you see that pretty little trend line uh, downward if you're on a fat loss uh, phase of dieting uh, but it'll be there'll be a lot of ching ching ching, ching kinks uh, in that uh, program I mean you know things happen and we can't control the body 100% as far as what it what it does with what we give it. So uh, so yeah, so keep that in mind as you're going through uh, your diet phase. Don't let it discourage you. Uh, the scale is literally just your tool. You know, your tool to, to another marker to keep track of um, as you progress. Uh, still, one of the greatest markers uh, is an increase in strength and the reason why and the reason why you'll hear a lot of people say that those performance markers are so good is because there's something that that can change week to week and something that is not subjective at all it it is either it, it changed or it didn't and yeah it's it's a fun marker to go after so if right now you do have zero performance based goals and you're working out um, and, and your overall goal is, is fat loss, I would highly encourage you to, to take a second and think about a few things you would enjoy being able to do in the gym or just out in the world that are based upon your performance. Uh, you know, whether that be, you know, walk a mile for somebody um, and not get out of breath or, okay, are you really just going to sit there? Geese are so funny, man. Like, I don't, I don't think I caught it, but like, just freaking sitting there. Like, <laughs> I thought for sure he's gonna get out of the way. Oh man, don't care about his life at all. But whether that's walking a mile, or you know, like a lot of us have, which are like weightlifting ideals of of being able to move a certain amount of weight, uh, is is obviously a great one. I mean. Getting stronger just helps helps us in so many directions. Even if fat loss is not your goal, just being stronger, it uh, 
the the people that that come and see me and strength is not I'm just gonna be honest strength is not their main objective most of the time it is an afterthought to to physique or just feeling better or recovery from injury um, but after we get after we start working towards it and we get to see improvement in lifts and what we do a lot of people take take a I still won't say it's their favorite thing because it's not it, uh, for most. I would just be lying, you know. Yeah, it sounds good, but it's just not the case. But it's uh, they definitely take a liking to seeing the numbers go up, and they want to know where they're at, you know. Versus when we start with most of them, they don't really care what I hand them, whether you know it's a 15 pound dumbbell or I put 2.5s in the barbell. It it doesn't really matter. But after a while, you know, they like hearing like, oh, that's five pounds up from, from last week. And when I hear them repeat that uh, without me even mentioning like, hey, that's a five pound PR, it's cool because that's something that's set in their head now. Um, and it's something that they can be pleased and see the accomplishment in from a week to week basis. And that's, that's kind of the big point is you want to have those things in your life that you can see reward um, on a much quicker scale. Now, this won't be the case for people who've been lifting for years and years and years, as most of us who've been in that <laughs> know. But for uh, for anyone getting into to uh, to training, to working out, uh, and to dieting, it's something that can yield a lot of results uh, uh, quickly. So set those uh, performance-based goals if you don't have them. I uh, hope you get after your Thursday today. Uh, obviously, you'll be seeing this Friday. So hopefully you got after your Thursday. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you later. What up, everybody? Uh, oof, I changed his shirts to the Mickey Mouse. Ashley had his on his uh, new Mickey Mouse shirt on this morning. So I decided I would change over to Mickey Mouse, you know, just to, just to keep it uh, fluid in the house as far as what we got. We got uh, 11 ounces of egg whites cooking right now. I just finished cooking, uh, throwing the turkey sausage, uh, three links in the uh, microwave, and then going to have one, uh, what is it, pure protein bar. Uh, that's breakfast this morning, day's rest day. So that means we got low carbs a day, uh, trying to keep under 100 grams. Uh, so basically just not any additional carb sources. Uh, this right here will be, uh, I'll have probably a couple of these. And that will be a uh, big hit to my carbs for the day. And then some peanut butter later, and that'll be the rest of what carbohydrates I'll have besides vegetables, things like that. Um, big shout out to my clients, guys. I've been getting great updates from folks. Uh, Miriam just hit me up with her progress pics this morning, and they looked awesome. She's rolling along. Joe Lynn's been rolling uh, pretty well. Miss Bobby Ann, Corey, all you guys, appreciate all y'all uh, y'all are doing and getting after it. Miss Donna's back. We're killing it. Keep rolling, girl. Um, and yeah, yeah, everything's just going good. Really, really blessed to be able to be in and serving people's lives for my job. It's uh, people don't know how like fortunate I am like to be able to do this full time. And and thank you to all you who who trust me to, uh, to come in and uh, uh, hopefully help you, help you learn, grow, uh, and, all, and all you do. But, uh, you know, just going to finish up making breakfast. I uh, looking, looking pretty good. <laughs> the, the egg omelet thing's been, been the way to go lately. It, it cooks up much quicker with the, uh, so i just been cooking it like, Basically with the, the uh, old uh, uh, pot pan uh, lid on top and you know cooks up in just a couple minutes except for the middle part which I always have to move around in here. But the everything gets nice and contained in that bad boy. But tastes pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna complain. I'm uh, gonna do a few uh, Captain Crusher sets. Keep these forearms on point today. Uh, and then we've got our big grouping of clients of the day at uh, 11. Uh, and we'll run that till about 1, uh, 1.30. And then we'll probably go do some cardio. So, 
We'll see. Probably catch y'all maybe a little before then. What up, everybody? I just finished a uh, morning group of clients. Uh, getting some lunch prepped right now. Uh, gonna cook a little uh, barbecue chicken, just a little bit of barbecue sauce over top, uh, a little bit of cabiners, and a little bit of uh, pepper ground up over top of that. It's uh, 10 and a half ounces uncooked. Uh, so got about 50 grams of protein right there, but it's stick in the oven, 375. Uh, I guess, I guess I'll do that for, I'll probably do it for about 25 minutes. Uh, never know with tenders, honestly. So we'll just watch it, make sure it's gonna be okay. But anyway, we got the, we'll have those cooked up. Uh, in the meantime, just drinking a Premier Protein, uh, 30 gram shake. Uh, these things are nice. Uh, the nice part is you can get them at Sam's uh, in a, like a 14 pack for like relatively like inexpensive. And, and they're three fat, uh, five carbs, three of which are fibrous, and then 30 grams of protein and a pretty easy to drink uh, little shake. So this is uh, hitting the spot while uh, my chicken will cook here for the next 25 minutes. I'll probably chill out after I eat this. Or I should probably chill out right now while it's cooking. And then I'll eat this and then I'm going to the gym and we'll do our cardio and calves and we'll just kind of see how that goes. But hope everybody's having a great day and we'll catch you later. Finished cardio up at the 10 of fitness on around you Parham over here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Turn down that air just a little bit so maybe you can hear a touch better. Oh, all right. Yeah, we did the 30 minutes of cardio today. We did uh, a little bit of calves uh, and a little bit of forearms while we were in there before we got on the treadmill. I uh, just hit it at a pretty even keel walk, you know, busting it. Uh, about a five incline, 3.5 speed. Uh, just enough getting a sweat in, hit like 3,200 steps, estimate at 280 calories, something around those lines. Uh, but anyway, it was, it was fine. Uh, it's, uh, it's always nice to get out into the gym sometimes. Uh, versus my home area where I'm always at, uh, just get out, get uh, get refocused on uh, what needs to be done. Uh, but now we're gonna go home. Uh, the chicken I baked earlier, I am gonna have half of it, uh, and yeah, just I'm not trying to eat all of it. I want a protein bar later, so that's just my honest to goodness why I'm only eating half of the chicken now, because I kind of want the sweet of the protein bar a little bit later. And if I eat all the chicken now, that will take those protein calories uh, out of the chance of me eating a protein bar. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be delicious, I hope. Uh, I didn't put a ton of barbecue sauce on, but it should be uh, delicious for what I'm eating right now. Uh, FYI, I went ahead and logged all my uh, 
calories for August the 6th, the day I uh, kind of want to try the 10K challenge. And it looks awesome to eat 10,000 calories. Uh, everyone always gripes and complains. And I remember like some of my distended belly times and it's not fun for sure. But I think sometimes they eat some pretty crappy foods uh, that they're not even enjoying to begin with. And so I'm gonna definitely eat foods I enjoy to begin with and try to eat foods that I enjoy throughout the day. Like I'm not gonna eat a whole dang pizza just because of the calories are there. Like I like pizza and I'll eat four or five slices depending on where I get it from, but I'm not eating a whole stinking pizza because that's just not, doesn't sound appetizing to me even for the 4,000 calories that it would provide. Um, I'd rather eat a bag of Reese's cups, like 100%. So anyway, um, I'm cruising back home. I'm on this grindy road with truck stopping every two feet. Hello. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get home, eat all this uh, chicken and probably broccoli. And we're stopping, fantastic. Um, and then yeah, I'll probably catch y'all after these next few clients and see what y'all are up to. What up everybody? Uh, I was going through editing the video, realized I didn't put up any kind of outro, uh, <laughs> uh, the day got away from me, man. The rest day uh, just got away. So uh, finish off the day with uh, uh, another protein bar, like I mentioned. Uh, did my four ounces of ground beef and then did a cup of broccoli um, as dinner. I uh, did one rice cake, two pickles. One thing awesome, guys, if, if you just need to eat something, uh, which sometimes you come across a pickle is awesome for that zero calories uh, it's got some crunch it's got a little flavor so uh, something awesome to add if if you just need something to eat and that's all it was was after dinner just need a little little bite of something so did that uh, feeling pretty good uh, the hunger at night sets in a little bit but uh, one thing that gets me through is is watching these 10k challenges uh, that I mentioned I, I want to do uh, it's uh, it satisfies oddly enough watching people eat satisfies that uh, that need to eat I guess uh, inside so uh, you know whatever I gotta do to get through we got four weeks left uh, about 30 days I think exactly from uh, today uh, with the extra day or was it yesterday no, no it was today yeah 30 days so we're gonna keep rocking and rolling hope uh, Hope the Thursday was awesome. Hope the Friday is even better. Um, let me know what you're getting into this weekend. And uh, yeah, let me know if you need uh, any help with anything. Uh, anything that we can touch on these videos, I would uh, love to uh, to give you more information to help. Uh, and I don't care where you are, you know, where you're at in the, in the journey. But uh, again, have a great Friday. Pop.